Ladies and gentlemen, you are now tuning in to the undefeated Mustache John. Mueller, long distance shot. Oh, deflection in. Come on. That is hot garbage. We've been working too hard to get that deflected goal to go in. Come on. That is horrible luck. Listen, we were up against a lot of pressure. Bayern Munich were knocking on the door, inarguably. But to give up a goal like that, long distance shot, takes a deflection, I think, off of Araujo. Unlucky for Barcelona. We should have shut that down a little bit better. No, it's off Eric. Ugh. He turned his back. It, it was just a, basically a wall pass off of Eric around Ter Stegen in the back of the net. Oh, Bayern off the post and then deflected back in. Is it a goal or is it offsides? <sighs> Again with the unlucky goal. Bayern off the post and then it's like FIFA out here falls right to the feet of Lewandowski who just sticks his big Polish boot out to tug it back into an empty net and it's 2-0 to Bayern. That one hurts. Uh, I, I, I can, yeah, that one hurts. That, that hurts a little bit. Araujo just caught sleeping. Wanted the offsides on Lewandowski, but it wasn't even close. Caught sleeping. This is where we are right now, folks. This is where we are. We are not an elite team, and we are riddled with injuries. Demir on the left-hand side. Demir is looking a lot more comfortable on the ball as he gives it away, potentially for a bad opportunity. It's Gabri, slides it off the post. Lewandowski has it, dances around PK, shot, and it's three. None of these goals have been clean, straightforward. Barcelona gets broken down and they score goals. None of these have occurred like that. So the scoreline does not really show how this match played out. That goal... Somebody's going to have to wipe the poop off of the ball before we start playing again after that goal, all right? Somebody get a, a wet nap, clean that ball off, and then we can start playing again. Because that was poop. That was a poop goal. PK, stay on your goddamn feet. And another deflection off of Araujo, too. So Nabry gets the through ball, which granted it was a good pass, hits off the post. Everybody's ball watching, falls to Lewandowski. Dances around PK, PK, or then Lewandowski shoots it off of Araujo, past Ter Stegen. <sighs> 3 0 to Bayern Munich. Ay, 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 ay. Let me stop the clock there. All right, that is it. 3 0 to a very dangerous Bayern Munich, where, as the chat said, we're missing half of our team right now, particularly on the offensive side. Aguero, Dembele, Ansu Fati. In this match, Jordi Alba goes down. So we came out here with a three-back formation with Roberto on the right, Alba on the left across the midfield. No creativity, no space being created there. So we looked very flat. We looked dull throughout most of the first half. Credit to Luke de Jong. I know a lot of people are kind of hating on him, saying that he didn't put in enough work. I, I disagree. For those of you that said he wasn't running, Yes, he was. That's just as fast as he can run, all right? It'd be like putting Sergio Busquets up at striker. 3-0 loss, write it off. First Champions League match of 2021. We are rebuilding. First Champions League match without Messi in almost 20 years. Riddled with injuries against a Champions League contender. It is what it is. Write it off, move on. I did like what I saw from most of our youngsters particularly Balde on the left-hand side, needs to shore up his passing, needs to maybe be a little bit more composed in his decision-making. Mingesa, Balde, Gavi, uh, Pedri, Demir, all got time tonight. And we did also see Coutinho come back and make an appearance uh, from a, uh, come back from a long-term injury. Once we got those substitutions on and we switched to more of a 4-3-3, it started looking a little bit more natural, a little bit more like Barcelona. I'm hoping that we go out with more of that style of lineup in the upcoming La Liga matches. That's going to do it for today, folks. I appreciate you all watching the match with me. 
coming and hanging out. If this is your first time, make sure you come back tomorrow. We've got Wake Up in Barca, 7 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time. We'll do a full match recap. We'll talk about player ratings. We'll talk about what's coming up for Barcelona. We'll see what takeaways we have after getting a good night's sleep and just letting this settle in. All right, so... Uh, if you have not subscribed, this is your invitation to join the undefeated community. We watch all the Barcelona matches here. I provide the live commentary, and then you all participate in the chat. You ask questions. You give your opinions. It's a good time. Everyone is welcome in the community. You just have to be respectful and be part of the conversation. You don't have to support Barcelona. You don't have to really support any particular club. If you like watching football and you want to have some conversation amongst good people from around the world, this is the place for you. So welcome, friends. I'm happy to have you here. I'm going to hop off. I hope to see you tomorrow morning for Wake Up in Barca. Until then, friends, thank you so much for tuning in and taking a ride. I'll see you all next time. Mwah.